Welcome or welcome back. And uh, back to regular schedule. Yes, yes. Uh, with my friend. Stefan. And because we still uh, want to transform back, uh, we were watching a Dutch guy. <laughs> um, <laughs> I thought we were done with that. <laughs> he was recommended uh, to us somewhere. I might find the comment. Uh, but a while back it was in our list and I still wanted to see it. Uh, it's a uh, um, flying Cal. He went to a university and it's nice to see his point of view of that. Uh, we're not sure what it's gonna portray. But uh, we have been to a high school uh, uh, when we were in the Philippines yes. because the... Um, Which was already quite big. Big, big. Really you know, big. Uh, was the wife of my uh, cousin um, and she was a teacher there. So we went still there. Is. Still is, still is, still is. Uh, we went there to, to check it out and uh, it might be have some similarities because this is a university so maybe even bigger or somewhat. Um, let's just see. Yes. Enough talking. Let's go. All right. Let's go. Uh, um, before we start, it's University of Santo uh, Tomas. Santo Tomas. Santo Tomas. Santo Tomas. Santo Tomas. Santo Tomas. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Santo Tongue twister. Tomas. UST. <laughs> Kumusta, ladies and gentlemen. It's Flying Kel. Back in Manila. I've never seen him before. Accent. So happy to be back. It's so familiar here. Why is it this? It's like being home, you know? Um, today, guys, I'm going to do something really cool. So we kind something of that was don't know nothing actually about suggested him. by one of you guys. And that is to visit a Filipino university. I'm really excited about that. So the university that was suggested I go to is the University of Santo Tomas. <laughs> which is was the oldest university so in Asia, people, established in 1611. Oh, that's old. It's older than Harvard University. I think uh, it might now, actually no? be older than <laughs> my grandma. That's how old it is, guys. So uh, I'm really, really excited, guys, about, about going there. I'm going to explore the campus. Right now, I am waiting for my grab. Yes, guys, grab. I downloaded hey. grab. You guys Uber all suggested. Grab. Cal, we don't have grab, grab get no, grab it's so much better than just getting a cab so um <laughs> that's what i did guys. i've been so using it in asia that's good that's a good moment <laughs> what if you you use it in indonesia right and yeah then we, uh, we use in manila we use uber all the time so i just want to say one second uh, in the netherlands we don't have a uh, grab yeah i have multiple apps now because yeah, i'll just always look at the different fares and the, the bonuses because I think the, the main differences is not necessarily the price, but the bonuses you acquire from using the app. Uh, so for instance, with Grab, there was a promotion mm. I used, so I was like, all right, I use this promotion and then I got 20% off or something. I think I'm just stuck with Uber because I like it. It's just so handy. And also availability is, uh, is an issue, expensive. but most of the drivers have all the apps as well. So Yeah. All right. I always listen to you. Let's get going. I'm excited. All right, people. I found my grab. It's first time. It's a beautiful red car. First time it's grab. Let's get in. It's not not in. It's <laughs> 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 like so special. Not. Uh, sir. Okay. Yes. On the background yes. noise also. Yes. University Santo Tomas, right? We're nice and comfortable in the grab. Ooh, this truly is convenient, guys. You are right. <laughs> All right, Grab is a, a great app. Very convenient. It's very busy, huh? Yeah. Manila it's traffic. traffic. It's convenient. Always. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's using Waze. Am I right, guys? Manila All traffic. traffic. University of uh, Santo Tomas. Yeah. It's the oldest university in Asia. Correct. It's, uh, it's, um, it's been there uh, since the Spanish time. Yeah. That's amazing. Yes, Spanish uh, I didn't Spanish. know that the oldest university in Asia was in the Philippines. Yeah, it's uh, also the largest one. Oh, yeah? Yeah. You can see it there, the soccer field, football oh, wow. field, basketball court, and uh, uh, even the church in the hospital inside. Yeah. Inside the mm. church and that sounds man. incredible. That sounds so oh. big, guys. That sounds bigger than uh, the university I went to. And you, can, you can be amazed by, uh, by the buildings alone. It's uh, very old architecture. Correct, very old. Very old. Oh yeah, I love me some old architecture. <laughs> We're just watching a guy from college. Oh, your your father. It's, the, it's a very good university. Yeah. Yeah, it's very good. Wow, guys, who would have thought 
My taxi driver's parents actually went to the University of Santo Tomas. This is my first time using the Grab app. Oh, the first time, huh? Yeah, I <laughs> see sponsored, <laughs> sponsored by Grab. It's a good experience already. Yeah, yeah. Thank you guys for recommending it. It's awesome. This university, uh, Santo Tomas, right. which area is it located? São Paulo. São Paulo? It's a barangay. Barangay São Paulo. Oh, okay, yeah. okay. Okay, guys, I think it will also be my first time going to San Paolo. Another first for today. Because UST is near the university belt. It's the university belt. Yeah. Okay. We call it university belt because there's lots of universities around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're heading over to the university belt. You should hire the grab driver. Oh, guys. It's a tourist guide. It's a very long ride. But I think we're not almost alive. there, so we can see the campus. That's how close we are. Okay, guys, we're driving right next to the campus already of uh, the University of Santo Tomas. It's right there. I can peek into the campus already. It's looking very, very nice. I see a lot of green, a lot of grass, a lot of trees, and some really old architecture. I also want to see. But uh, I can, I can <laughs> see a tiny bit. <laughs> so I'm really excited now about getting about in there. How about you point the camera towards the, the green? It looks and like the a museum. Architecture and talk about it. All right. Here we go. Oh, nice. Oh yeah, we've made it, people. It's University of Santo Tomas. Okay. It's looking very, very nice. A lot of very old, very beautiful architecture. Check this out. That is gorgeous, people. I'm just feeling more cultural already, just walking around here. This is a very impressive campus. A lot of green. Well, look at this. You beautiful little tree the... right here. Yeah. <laughs> Just but that's nice. It's, it's really nice. nice activity to have here on campus. campus. A lot of people chilling, playing uh, games and practicing sports. There's a huge, huge sports field on my left hand, and I think there's a lot of sports games going on there at this time. And look at these guys. These guys are like Dancing. swinging sticks around. Yeah. Is it like a gated community then? Oh, like close around. Oh. That, that looks bad. Is there, uh... oh, I forgot the name. It's like uh, they're a fighting sport. I want to say Pong San Silat or something, but that's it, something else. That's the Indonesian, it's the Indonesian one. one. Yeah. You yeah. also have this one with the, the one stick. I, I actually have a, uh, a link in the list. I want to see that one as well, maybe with oh, uh, cool. Sandra or something. Yeah. That's for especially the Filipino sport. All right. I don't know the name. Oh, I know. I know it's right here. It's right here. That's the name. Uh, you're <laughs> thinking see, about see, it. You see, <laughs> Some people. If anybody knows what that is, please uh, do let me know. It looks like some type of martial arts. Is that Filipino martial arts? Look at this, guys. They have a gigantic sports field. This is crazy. Looks like they're playing a like typical two how different you games, three different yeah, games yeah, yeah. at the same time. If you would let a kid draw a fire <laughs> They're playing soccer oh, here. They're, they're so playing cool. soccer Football. there, and I think they're Football. playing like You're from the Netherlands, man. Come at on. the end. This is big, guys. This is big. I myself have studied uh, a university as well. I've studied at um, the Erasmus University mm, Rotterdam. in Rotterdam, yeah. Peking University decent, in decent Beijing, decent. and the University of Pennsylvania in Philadelphia. Oh, as well. And uh, wow, this this looks really nice. Like compared to the Dutch universities, this is big, guys. This is big. This yeah, kind of compares like to the to the University of Pennsylvania. Like a lot of really. Really old. You don't have space for architecture. <laughs> very big. A lot of facilities. Uh, very, very nice. Campuses in Amsterdam are just in between city or in the suburbs. I think we are on the square, the center of the university. Check this out. This is a very, it's a similar very kind of vibe where we went right here. Like, yeah, yeah, the vibe is yeah. definitely the same. It's it's so similar also to like, like the old buildings that you see doing, doing in, in Europe, you know, uh, in the European centers. Basketball, little court. Uh, I'm guessing area. this is like Spanish architecture. There it says it, people. Found in 1611. Very old university. 1611. Yes, yeah. this Very is beautiful. The, you know, this is the first university of Spain. Really? Spain. Yes, the first University of Spain is out of the Spain. Oh, actually. and mm, the first is cool. Yeah. Cool. cool fact. Fun fact. The first University of Spain. <laughs> yes. Pretty trippy. Wow. Another really cool fact. Was <laughs> you want to know something? Ask Grab drivers wow. and security guards. You know? I did not know this, but from this information board right here, 
I can see they actually used the university as an internment camp during World War II by Imperial Japan. That is crazy. So much happened in this university of uh, There's an old one, a lot of history. 1611, yeah. they... yeah. Mascot? Uh, I have a really dangerous looking tiger over here. Is that, is that the school mascot people? I don't know. It might be. Probably. But that's a, that's a good mascot. A dangerous tiger that will tear anybody to shreds that sets foot in this campus. That's cool. Naturally, it's a no smoking campus, people. The people it's here. Weird. Are very it doesn't feel like a campus, it feels like a. Uh, oh, like okay, a here you go. Yeah. Champion. You will not Made believe this. Subway. USD. I wish has I had a subway on my campus. Food. What? Days. I've never seen a. <laughs> yeah, I wish I had a subway on my yeah. campus back in the days. We were like. Um, Mm, I don't want to talk too much about my campus, but we had uh, only like the normal kind of food, yeah. the Dutch kind of food type of uh, catering and they had a contract, so there were no other uh, catering companies allowed. Mm -hmm. So we were, yeah. It's one of the most uh, uh, places that they have their own own stuff, yeah, they can do anything about they have, it. They have a contract yeah. with a certain company and yeah. there's only one company allowed on the whole campus to provide uh, lunch and I dinner. Uh, that was in, in yes my case. yes because i uh, can still remember in utrecht uh, when i was there in their uh, university there mm -hmm. was like outside there were uh, um food carts food, food car, carts food, yeah. car food car oh car yeah, yeah we had that as well yeah. sometimes so there there was the, you, you can have that yeah. it's mm -hmm. only outside nurse no and that was nice that was nice but mm -hmm. nothing compared made subway i would have gone every single day to <laughs> subway for <laughs> lunch <laughs> yeah yeah probably but it's nice good. to have pancake nearby. house and you also have different options yeah, probably not too healthy. But joking wasn't healthy. Yeah, no, 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 nothing. There are, I mean, there are all alter alternatives, yeah. but I don't know. Better than the bread we were talking about. Mm. But it's also bread, but better. Cool. For my universities in yeah. Europe or the U.S. or China did not have their own fast food, guys. This no. is uh, very, very cool. It has Chowking, Subway, and Pancake House. Holy moly! They even have KFC. Oh, not healthy for me at all. <laughs> and McDonald's. Oh and my goodness. Oh. <laughs> That's amazing. Right. So, like I said, it isn't a gated community, right? So, it's open to everybody. So. KFC and McDonald's are on campus here. I've That's never seen that, guys. That is, that is so because cool. Otherwise None of the universities I've yeah. gone to in Europe, China, or the US have had uh, McDonald's on campus. That is so good. And if you faint from all the fast food you've eaten, we got you covered. Because USC has its own hospital. Yeah, you wouldn't go to the church. This campus is yeah. literally a lot of universities have their own guys. hospital. Wow. Church is. is so, something. right there, there you have fast I, I food, you have McDonald's. Yeah. And then here you have these 17th century beautiful architectural school, yeah. buildings. Yeah. I'm, I'm loving the contrast. It's just, it's just such a perfect blend, you know? It's so interesting. Mixing the modern Almost with just as old the as the buildings in the car. <laughs> that's cool. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. Different shields and... Wow, this ornaments. is a very, very nice little mini park here. I'm not sure what these things are, but it's very nice. It looks really, really cool. Hmm. Another really nice and old building, guys. Beautiful. I think that's the medical Roots. faculty. Very nice building. Oh, Very right. old. We should chill out nice. with the audience. Yeah. A lot of <laughs> medicine <laughs> students <laughs> chilling there, eating something, studying for the next big exam coming out. They're doing good work, people. These guys are going to be saving our lives in a nice few years. Power. In terms of size, this university compares more to the American and Chinese universities that I've gone to. European universities are really a lot smaller than this, so it's quite grand here. In terms of culture, it, uh, it kind of compares to the old American universities, you know, like the Ivy Leagues. A beautiful little statue, yeah. or I should say a beautiful big statue because it's huge. All right, people, that is the Commerce Building. It looks a little bit more modern, 
which uh, makes sense because uh, I studied commerce myself and uh, for some reason they always put commerce <laughs> in the modern buildings. Okay. We never get the nice old cultural historic buildings. Sure. <laughs> UST has its very own church, yeah, which so, uh, makes so sense so. considering it is a Catholic university. So. I read online. So the church is also in a very old and very Good nice day. building. Yeah. They even have a botanical garden. Yeah. None of the universities that I have attended people. I must say, just a quick note, it does really feel like the American barracks in uh, 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 Germany. Uh, they also have their own food court, like KFC, Burger King, and they also have their own churches and their own they hospitals. They cannot live without it. <laughs> and so that's kind of the same similar vibe, but that's why I'm still asking, is it still a gated community? Like, do you have to have, to have a pass to go in, or is it still well, open to everybody? If, if, if the... If the campus is so big, I understand they have their own uh, franchises yeah. uh, in there because there will be enough people to eat there. Of course. More than enough. Look at how many people there yeah. are walking around. Man. And the only reason we don't have it is just because it's already like a, a local cafeteria, like the, the it's owned by. I, I, yeah, I, I really don't know why Why not actually. Maybe they Maybe don't make money. For, in, for Amsterdam or Utrecht, for instance, the. The city is so nearby, True. Uh, probably the same distance as walking from one faculty to yeah. the center of the of the campus is the same distance as you going from campus to the Burger King or the MACD or the KFC. And the public transport is so good, it even makes it quicker. Yeah, yeah exactly. Had a botanical garden. That is epic. We have that too in, in <laughs> Delft, man. Yeah, that, 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 so that, 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 done too many exams in my lifetime. You're gonna get through them, right? You're gonna get through them like I got through them. UST has its own high school, and look what it's uh, school uniforms, school. but uh, that was high school, right? So that's the high school. So there's a high school within and the university, university campus. That's why we saw the uh, uniforms mm. because I'm not sure. I mean, let me know in the comments if it's uh, a university. I think it's like a free space, right? You can wear whatever you like. Yeah. But uh, for high school, I know they have their own uh, uniforms. Mandatory so that's why I was so uniforms. seeing it, and then yo yo, that's uh, the high school. All right going on here there makes some sense kind of fiesta or something what is, what is going on here yeah. oh entrepreneurship okay nice good job mm. yeah, they're I still see like oh, everybody have like a white shirt still. Like, yeah. oh, maybe, uh, oh, a strict yes. group. Are you guys maybe... from the high school or from the university? Uh, senior, high, senior high school. You can see our food products such as the leather organizer, the Maxima, and our pouches such as Daster and such the bigger ones. You can get this at 60 pesos and this one at 80 pesos. Thank you so much, Maxima. Entrepreneurs. All right, guys. These, uh, these kids are doing some entrepreneurship. <laughs> Their products look good, people. Like they're selling some kick-ass pouches right there. Senior high school. School students, guys, already being What's entrepreneurial, the, trying to start their the own business. There. Now that is the entrepreneurial spirit right there in those kids. Maybe a must. They're gonna make it big. They are shirts. gonna be the businessman of tomorrow. And day. just second. like that, people, I have walked no from <laughs> one side of the UST campus to the other. Overall, like really, really nice university. It's so interesting. The first university established by the Spaniards and the oldest university in Asia. Who would have thought? Here in Manila, in the Philippines. Really, really cool. A lot of culture, a lot of history right here. True. That is a very nice statue. Not sure of whom. Maybe that was the founder <laughs> of the university. All right, people. There's a this was a really, here. really cool exploration of a Filipino elite university. It gave me a very, very good impression. It reminds me very, very much of the universities really in America. Like the, the a really, really it's nice campus. It's a shame campus. he didn't ask people very like questions. Very historical. Like, uh, yeah. A lot of beautiful so buildings. There are so many people. So many he facilities. Man, mm -hmm. they have their own botanical garden. I mean, that is amazing, guys. So um, anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little exploration of um, the University of Santo Tomas. If you want to keep up to date with Flying Cal Travels, guys, follow me on Instagram. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button, people. 
share it with your friends, a subscribe, girl. and hit nice the video. bell. Alright guys, brilliant. keep flying high and keep flying wild people. Peace out, check you later. Alright, nice. Nice. Boys. Um, start a letter, I'll start off. Yeah, sure. What I did, uh, should have noticed, it's so clean. So uh, the uh, everything was uh, like really spot on uh, where he walked. Uh, they built it also nice, like the trees and the grass. It was well kept. Yeah. Uh, that's what, what uh, sometimes in uh, like maybe in the Dutch university is less because we not uh, don't have all the workers for that uh, because it's not like like I said maybe it's not a cl close community but if it is maybe they hired people to do that stuff. Uh, I'm not sure if in, a, in a really because my experience with the Dutch university is harder. They are well kept. Outside? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe not uh, the UFA, the, the one that's in Amsterdam, but that's scattered all over the city. But mm. the other universities and campuses are pretty well kept, kept and they're really, really clean. And they're maybe I just see that. Place. You I always, always see the one in Amsterdam. I always go by Amsterdam, <laughs> I always see that, and I think, yeah. well, somebody needs to do something. But uh, uh, In general, they are, are really well kept in the Netherlands. The, the thing that impressed me was all the all the old architecture and the buildings and... Yeah, it was my next it, thing. It, it was difficult for me to uh, understand how big it really was because, uh, yeah, uh, most of the time he showed a few, few uh, faculties, I guess. But really, he was just walking around and you really cannot comprehend how big it really is because it, it could be like... Facts. A whole, whole, whole city on its own. Uh, but did he? Uh, did, do, do you need? I know he went by the, the the security card. Is that like the entrance? And then uh, did he was able to walk around, or is everybody able to walk around, or do you have to like have a pass? Because if it isn't, then you know, even if it's like a closed community, it will be chaos because everybody will just go in and out and in. Yeah, I I know by the by the Dutch. Uh, universities you could just walk in maybe it's not yeah. it's not really meant for foreigners or uh, outsiders I mean to walk just walk in but you, you could you could just yeah. walk in uh, there are security guards of course uh, but mostly it's for each faculty and not necessarily for the entrance but maybe in uh, Manila or in Santa Tomas it's different I, I still, I, I always have the feeling that the uh, Philippines is like way more uh, security in some areas. Like the, always you go to the mall and like there are also security there. Uh, I think yeah. it's like, um, or less strict or we don't have that kind of security in, in the Netherlands. It's like way down. Uh, even in the, um, um, the other high schools, they had like a security guard, but he, did, he didn't uh, uh, look at everybody's pass or anything. You can just walk on through. Uh, where I've been as well, uh, but um, s some stuff is not. It's it's a shame that he didn't uh, ask some people like how it's been, what's the vibe like. Yeah, for, that would for, have been nice. Yeah, yeah. maybe get some in insider's some perspective. Ins yeah. yeah, instead of uh, him showing. Her. It was nice that he asked the entrepreneurs what they were doing, but that was part of the high school. Yeah. So <laughs> I don't know about the university culture there, and uh, it, maybe it, it's maybe way too overwhelming for him to. Sure. take everything in and communicate it to us but yeah, yeah it's it looked really impressive and i loved seeing the people playing football because i know you guys love basketball and not football uh, so that was cool yeah it was nice to see and there yeah. was so much space to do it you can like have yeah. four or five uh, uh, football matches at once uh, yeah. and i love so the, the green sceneries like yeah, it's cool. always nice I, we had it only after a few years that they uh made a little park in between the faculties and I, I, I was sitting in the grass pretty much all the time with my books with the herbs. Uh, yeah just with the green scenery <laughs> and it was so nice and yeah that's something I really appreciate uh, yeah I think um, uh, the thing was funny as well for me to see the the high school was also next to it so maybe it's yeah, like a collective thing because yeah. normally you don't really see it uh, they really made like a whole place for uh, acquiring knowledge. Yeah. Uh, 
all the faculties together, new school, old school, so new that, buildings, old buildings. Then uh, when we saw that, it wasn't weird at all to, that they have learned their own fast food chains uh, over no. there because look at how many people there yeah. are. People uh, need food. <laughs> uh, I think that's it because otherwise yeah. we'll just ramble on. But uh, let us know because I still want to know if it's uh, the universities still have like uh, school gear uh, that you need to wear, like the school uniforms. Because I know it from high school and I don't know it from the university. Let me know in the comments. I am interested though. Maybe yeah. we should visit next time. Uh, true. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time. Yes. Deuce. Ciao. First roll. Okay. Welcome. Nee, doe maar jij dat maar. Ja. Ja, ik maak.